Are you ready for today's project using Rose Wonder stamp set and matching thinlets? Can't wait to show it to you. Let's get started. You made it to technique number eight with the Rose Wonder stamp set and thinlets. If you've missed the other seven videos, make sure you go back and watch them because each video I'm showing you kind of a different technique or a different way that you can use these coordinating framelits along with the, the stamp set. So this is our card today and you can see our rose is cut out and everything is pretty dimensional and um, it's almost kind of heavy feeling. Not too heavy to mail but there's a, there's a lot of you know stiffness to this one. So what I did is I stamped my rose on shimmer white. Again I'm using shimmer white because I'm going to watercolor it. I completely watercolored it which I'm not going to do here. Go back and watch the other videos if you want some tips on that because I've done that on quite a few of the videos. After it's watercolored, I'm going to just take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. Now, I'll just a little tip. When you cut this out, you can say just a little smidgen outside of that black line. Okay, um, like almost on the black line, even if you're touching the black line. But the key is to keep that black line there. Once you get it all cut out, I actually cut out the rose, and then I cut out the two leaves separately, so I ended up with three pieces. Then I cut out one of the, the ones using the thinlets, and just like I did in another video, we're going to cut the leaves off here. So we will cut that leaf off. And when I cut the leaves off, I kind of leave the base of the leaf for the rose, so the rose is a continuous piece. So I took my rose piece, and let's just make make believe this rose is completely cut out right now. You can take this, put some adhesive on the back, and a little tricky to figure out where it is. Oh, my black even smeared a little bit. But then I glued it on there, and it completely covers up your black lines. And that's what we have here. Here's the rose part, and you can tell this was added on there, and so that's what you see. So the rose, and then I did the exact same thing to the leaves, but I kind of tucked them down a little bit so they're not sticking up so they fit on the card. But that's it. So that's technique number eight using this Rose Wonder stamp set and thinlets. In the description of this video will be a link to my blog post that will give you all of the dimensions and products that you need to make this card. And instead of doing a ninth video, I'm going to just throw in a little bonus card I want to show you. This is not my original idea. Stampin' Up! actually did this at the on stage event back in November. But it's kind of a pocket card. So here's my rose. Okay, this is just a single piece of shimmer white. And then on here, it's the crumb cake. Okay, it's a four and a quarter by five and a half piece of crumb cake. I cut out the larger rose and the smaller rose, and I stuck them, they're, they're folded, you can see, just to the back and glued onto the back a little bit to create that pocket. And I just tied the little ribbon around in a tag, but this slides slides down in there and just makes a very elegant, beautiful looking card. So that's nine different ideas that I've given you now in the in this series of videos. So I hope you've enjoyed them. Um, come back more. I've got more stamp sets and more fun things to show you. But And who knows, I'm sure I'm going to come up with more techniques that we can do with this Rose Wonder stamp set. So I hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to, to sharing more creative ideas with you.